31-year-old Sierra Locklear Breland, an insurance defense lawyer, found her wonderful husband Xavier Breland on Tinder by swiping right. It was love at first sight. The two hit it off and were married within months. But unknown to Sierra, she had swiped wrong. Visiting her parents in Georgia, Sierra went to fetch her five-month-old baby from her mother-in-law's house when she suddenly disappeared. Her parents were shocked when the police called them days later. A missing persons report had been filed for Sierra, but in another state. Her family had no idea she had left Georgia at all. What followed was a series of lies, deception, and chilling clarity. What made a doting new mom like Sierra abandon her five-month-old baby? Sierra Locklear Breland was the most fun-loving person you could be with. A real go-getter. She looked up to her mother, Kelly Locklear, who was a paralegal and aspired to be a lawyer. Her father, Nick Locklear, describes her as an energetic young woman who loved sports and movies and wanted to build a life in Atlanta. She wasn't one to sit around. She worked hard to make her dreams come true. After graduating from the University of Tennessee, she attended law school at Florida State University, specializing in insurance defense. But having an exciting career and life didn't mean she forgot her roots. Sierra was incredibly close to her family and spoke to her father for almost five to six hours a day, calling, texting, talking about their day. She visited her family at least once a month and always took her nephews and nieces Christmas shopping or back to school shopping. Starting a job back in Georgia, she was probably just checking out Tinder for something casual in October 2020. She swiped right on Xavier Breland Jr. After their first date, it was clear there was a spark. While representing him for some legal issues with his ex-wife, the two struck up a sizzling romance. However, Sierra's cousin tells a darker part of the story. After the first few dates, Sierra tried to break off the relationship, but Xavier wouldn't take no for an answer, and when he saw her with another man, he showed up at her apartment. She wouldn't open the door, so he sat there and sent her threatening messages until she finally gave him another chance. From there on, it was a fast-paced whirlwind. They were married within six months, but Sierra had changed drastically since she met Xavier. Her family was shocked when she casually informed them she was married. For a girl who spent her life dreaming about a beautiful wedding and wedding dresses, it was just odd to elope without a wedding. To start a new life, they moved to Carmel, Indiana, right next door to Xavier's father's home. Sierra landed a job at a law firm, Gordon Rees Scully Mansacani, practicing commercial litigation as well as employment law. She even had her own office. She took her dog Baker with her, who was her baby, until she found out she was actually pregnant. However, by June of 2021, the couple was having some marital problems. As per Sierra's mother, the couple faced financial issues that led to domestic issues. But that did not overshadow their joy of Sierra being pregnant. In December 2021, they welcomed their son, Jackson. Sierra became the kind of mother whose life revolves around her child. She wouldn't leave Jackson unattended, not even with a relative. If he had a rash, she would stay up the whole night, checking on him again and again. Her cousin Shelby also talks about how afraid Sierra was of her husband. She would text her mother or others expressing her fear of Xavier's unpredictable outburst. Her mother says she once messaged saying if they didn't hear from her to call the police and send them to her residence. She openly said she was afraid for her life. So why didn't this smart lawyer leave her lazy, abusive husband? To keep it simple, she was severely emotionally abused and felt like she couldn't escape. Xavier threatened her that he would take Jackson from her. And just the thought of Jackson being alone with her husband was enough to stop Sierra from taking any action against him. Xavier came from a rich family, so he had power and influence. He could drag a court case and make it very difficult for Sierra to get custody. A detective informed Kelly Locklear that her daughter was in grave danger. Police had reported to domestic dispute calls at the Breland's residence, all fruitless. 
The detective was an expert on domestic violence and could immediately tell that Sierra was lying for her husband. Actually, an officer that had been called out to their house one night that said he was a specialist in domestic violence, and he said, he literally said, he's not telling the truth, she's not telling the truth, you know, she's not letting him take the consequences for his actions, so we can't do anything about it, but I'm gonna tell you this is escalating so fast that something really bad is gonna happen to her very soon. However, Sierra was being smart. She was saving money in a secret bank account to plan her escape. She even had a burner phone to contact her family in case of an emergency. Meticulously, the young lawyer planned her escape plan with her mother. Sierra would say that they are visiting her parents in Georgia. Xavier would probably tag along since he never let her go anywhere alone, but he had an excuse. His mother lived in Georgia. Once they were there, Sierra said she wouldn't go back to Indiana. She would find a job in Georgia and live with her parents till it was safe to be alone. Her family hoped for the best. Their Sierra was finally going to break free of an abusive relationship. Sierra, Xavier, her husband, Jackson, and her dog Baker all loaded up in her white Volkswagen Tiguan, which still had Georgia license plates. They started their long trip from Indiana to Georgia, first to visit with Sierra's parents and then with Xavier's mother. On 19th February 2022, Saturday, they arrived at Nick and Kelly Locklear's house. Sierra told them she was ready to divorce her husband and had to make sure he wouldn't suspect anything. She even let them take Jackson to visit her mother-in-law. Abusive partners get the most aggressive when they realize their punching bag is leaving them. Sierra had to be careful. On Sunday, Sierra went to her mother-in-law's house to pick up her son. It was an hour away from her parents' house in Johns Creek. And left on the 20th. And that was the last time you guys saw Yes. One of the last messages her cousin Shelby would receive was Sierra being upset that her husband wasn't handing over Jackson. She was waiting at her mother-in-law's house. The next day, Monday the 21st, around quarter past 11, she messaged her father, asking him if it was all right if she returned in the morning. Since abused partners often fall into a pattern of breaking it off and then returning to their abuser, it was rather habitual of Sierra, so her father, Nick Locklear, assured her that she had a safe place she never had to ask. But the next day, Sierra did not speak to him. He messaged her, asking if everything was all right. Sierra explained she was feeling a bit sick, but everything was okay. Her father waited another day, then tried messaging her on Wednesday, the 23rd. There was silence. By Thursday, the 24th, her family was worried. No matter what happened, Sierra always got back to them. On Saturday, the Locklears received an unexpected call from India. To Nick's surprise, it was the Carmel Police Department informing them about Sierra being missing. Her family thought she was still in Georgia, while her husband had reported her missing in Indiana. Your daughter's been reported missing. And I said, miss in Indiana? And he said, yes. As uh, Xavier called and said that she left last night. Nick immediately called Xavier and asked him to tell him the truth, since Sierra messaged her family, and if anything happened to her, her husband was responsible. Xavier told him to go to hell and disconnected the call. That was the last time they spoke. Then, Nick called Xavier's father, who lived next door to the couple. He casually asked them if he had seen Sierra return home or just in the past couple of days. He answered he hadn't seen her. It was incredibly suspicious that her husband had not checked in with any of Sierra's family before reporting her missing. As per his own account, Sierra got back to Carmel in the same truck. According to him, on Friday the 25th, around 10 p.m., Sierra went out to get something from the store. He even described her outfit as a black top and purple shorts. He waited 24 hours before contacting the police. A small detail, he added, was that the couple were fighting over Sierra's abuse of Adderall and that she had possibly gone out to get Adderall. The only problem is nobody takes Adderall at night. It is usually taken during the day. But as officers investigated, the story became stranger. Back in Georgia, police recovered CCTV footage from Highgate Manor Court, Johns Creek, home of her mother-in-law. Sierra was last seen on the video at 7.17 p.m., but there was nothing out of the ordinary in the video. When they cross-checked with the store near her Brookstone Park home in Carmel, Sierra was not on any CCTV. 
so she disappeared sometime after she left her house. However, further investigations revealed something sinister was at hand. The police found a video of Sierra's white Volkswagen truck making a stop at a gas station on the way to Indiana from Georgia. Xavier could be seen in the driver's seat, along with her dog Baker in the front, but there was no sign of Sierra. Now Xavier had said Sierra was driving the truck. That, combined with all the messages her family had as proof, suddenly made him a person of interest. Sierra left behind her wallet, her purse, all of her cards, her son, her dog, even both her phones. This was fishy. She never left her son behind, even for errands, and she knew leaving her burner phone would be suicide. It was around 20 degrees, incredibly cold. A person wouldn't go walking around in shorts and a t-shirt at night. Her family had been adamant that investigators need to focus on Xavier. They also believe if she were alive, she would never leave her baby behind. Solidified in your mind that she's definitely not coming back and ever. And um, that her son's never going to see his mother. And, um, Police found the top and shorts abandoned at a CVS parking lot, a clue that maybe Sierra had changed clothes and left. But theories are that Xavier planted those to clear himself of any doubts. Two days after she went missing, police were called to Xavier's residence when there were reports of gunshots. Xavier explained that he was moving a Christmas tree into the garage when he heard the gunshots. Apparently, his gun went off by itself in the garage. Officers found two different guns at his house. There was a gun on the garage floor, a magazine with ammunition, a gold-colored bullet, and bullet fragments. Two more handguns, magazines, and ammunition were found inside the house. He was arrested for possession of guns by a convicted felon. Xavier faced burglary felony charges in 2005. But what caught the police's eye were the stalking charges that were filed in Kua County in March of 2021. He had hidden a GPS tracker in his daughter's teddy bear so he could know the whereabouts of his ex-wife. He was cleared of those charges in August, but was held in contempt of court charges and jailed in Fulton County. But luckily for authorities, they now had reason to hold him as a person of interest in Sierra's case. In a leaked jailhouse video of March 2022, Xavier was talking to his children and baby Jackson, telling them, Mommy has been kidnapped. Do you know what that means, bud? She's never coming back. This was a big contradiction to what he had been telling the police. Why was he so sure she wasn't coming back anyway? They now had probable cause, and he was named a person of interest in the investigation. The cars were thoroughly checked. However, they weren't taken into custody to dust for fingerprints or DNA. The search for Sierra was mostly at Medlock Bridge Road, where she would have traveled while in Georgia and Johns Creek, where she was last seen on camera. Last known location that anybody's actually been able to see her that we know of at this point. Her mother-in-law's house was searched on April 21st, 2022, probably too late to gather any evidence. Police cut the mattress and carpet in Xavier's mother's home during their search, but found nothing. One last clue was that Sierra's phone last pinged near the Chattahoochee River, which was suspicious since her husband claimed she was at home. A search in the area proved nothing. During the entire ordeal, Xavier's parents have been cold and manipulative, and before Sierra went missing, her mother-in-law had traveled to Indiana and started paperwork to gain custody of baby Jackson. When the media tried to speak to her, she shunned away. The woman inside yelled repeatedly, for us to go away. Go away. Hi, I'm with News Nation. Go away. After Xavier was arrested for unlawful possession of weapons by a felon, he emotionally told the judge he was trying to get a job as a truck driver and turn his life around. So the judge lowered his bond from 50,000 to 35,000. However, Xavier allegedly violated the restraining order on his ex-wife filed again and was on the run as a warrant was issued for his arrest. Jail records in Fulton County, Georgia showed he was released from Fulton County Jail in Georgia on February 2, 2023, with an outstanding warrant pending in Hamilton County, Indiana. The FBI has declared a $10,000 reward for anyone who might have any information regarding Sierra Breland. 
Baby Jackson lives with Nick and Kelly Locklear now, safe in their custody. But the reunion was short-lived. In a tragic turn of events, Sierra's mother Kelly Locklear passed away in September of 2023, possibly of heartbreak losing her daughter this way. We can only hope the truth will come out, and the only person of interest is locked away for his deeds. Sierra, with her brave plans, was just a little too late. While Xavier tried to make it sound like an Adderall psychosis to a kidnapping to her running away, it is highly possible that he found out about her plans to leave him. Tragically, Sierra Breland's escape plan was just too late.